Hey, what's going on, Luke? And this is the first video I've done since the 2023 Grand Final where the Panthers Panthers defeated the Brisbane Broncos. I haven't done a video talking about rugby league. I've been doing a few AFC slash FIFA videos, but for the most part, I've sort of been having a little bit of a break, but I'm ready to make videos again on rugby league and rugby league life for whoever. This video is going to be talking about the new New South Wales coach, which is Michael McGuire, apparently. I don't know if it's... I don't think it's official. I don't think it's official. I'm pretty sure it's not official. What is official is Brad Fittler is 100% gone. We already knew that. Um, something that I didn't think was going to happen. I mean, after the series, you're like, oh, surely he's going to go. But then I thought he was going to be stubborn enough to try and have another go and try and, uh, I don't know, get some revenge or some redemption. But thankfully, Brad Fittler uh, came to his senses. He stepped down. Um, he resigned himself. I think it was on the same day Billy Slater uh, resigned with uh, with Queensland. So maybe that sort of spurred the decision. But yeah, Brad Fittler is out. Michael McGuire's in. And bloody hell, I am excited about that. Now, uh, for quite some time, I've been... I don't want to say jaded with the New South Wales side, but I haven't been happy with the New South Wales side and the direction it's been going with. And I know it's kind of hard to sort of say like, oh, you don't like the direction a state side's going in. It's not, not as if it's a club. It's not like I can just go and recruit new players or whatever, but I just felt like the coaching, the structure, uh, the players getting selected, they just weren't the right fit. New South Wales, in my opinion, have the better talent than Queensland. I think, I think even Queensland supporters will probably tell you that. They probably have... New South Wales probably, arguably, definitely have... The better talent. Like if you were playing a video game, you look at all the overalls, New South Wales win. Uh, Queensland just seems to be coached so much better. They, you know, all the talk of they get, they get origin and all that sort of stuff. And I think it's 100% true. But we brought in Michael Maguire. And why I think that is a good move is obviously Michael Maguire has, okay, first off, he's he's played NRL before. So he ticks that box, which is what New South Wales seems to want. They want someone who's played, who's played not necessarily for New South Wales. I mean, they, they seem to do that. Laurie Daly, Brad Fittler uh, of recent times. Even Ricky Stewart to a degree, but I, I suppose at this point he's an NRL coach, not a former player. But they seem to want to go for the former players. So, you know, Michael McGuire's got that aspect. He's won a premiership, so he is a... He's an established coach in the NRL and the Super League as well. He's won Super League comps. So he's a guy who can adapt to different sorts of players. Um, he's coached international before, the current coach of New Zealand. So it's not like this guy is, is someone who's coached a couple games here and there, like your Brad Fittlers uh, and like your Larry Daly's and such. Who, uh, I'm just going to describe Brad Fittler, essentially. Brad Fittler coached a little bit in the NRL, super unsuccessful. Uh, obviously a fantastic player in the past, great origin player. Came in, sort of inspired the team initially, but once it came down to the nitty gritty and you know actual coaching ability, just didn't have it. And you saw his bench rotations were weird, his selections were weird. That's where I think Michael McGuire will come in, and, and he's renowned as being a great coach. Just he's very he's very relentless, and I feel like the elite of the elite players they can handle that, and that's what he's going to get at a state of origin level, and he's going to get the players that he wants, and he's not going to have to deal with players like at the Tigers where he's playing with, you know, wooden spoon caliber sides. We've seen since he's left, the Tigers haven't gotten any better. They've tried new coaches. They've brought in stars. They haven't gotten any better. The Rabbitohs arguably haven't really gotten any better either, apart from when uh, Wayne Bennett was there. But Mark Maguire was someone who brought the most success to the Rabbitohs in, like, the history of their club in terms of, like, since they've been back in the comp. And, you know, they all talk about him being such a good coach but also a super hard coach that you don't want to play under him for too long because he absolutely flogged you. But like I said, that's not going to be a problem when he's only coaching them for, what, a month, two months, and it's only through little camps here and there. I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. In terms of the New Zealand setup, there's been no sort of reports of him being difficult or hard to work with. In fact, I'm just looking at their results. New Zealand have played 15 games and they've won 10 under him. In terms of the Tigers, they he coached them for, for 80 games, uh, win rate of 36%. But, I mean, that's just the Tigers. For the Rabbitohs, 153 games, 85 wins. And then at Wigan, he had a 76% win rate. And I know Wigan is one of the better sides between them, Leeds, usually right up there. But the guy is a bit of a winner. Um, overall, he's got a 55% win rate for New Zealand, 67%. And I'm intrigued to see what he does. I'm intrigued to see just like selection wise. Is he is he a guy who's going to pick talent? Like, is he going to be the sort of coach that looks at maybe a Latrell Mitchell or, you know, Tom Trevojevic not fit? Where Brad Fittler goes, he's definitely in. I don't care if he's not fit. And, you know, me being a fan, I'm like, chuck in Tom Trevojevic, but it hasn't really worked. Um, is he going to be someone who's like, they're not fit, we're not playing him, grab him best, you're in? Is he like that sort of coach? Or is he going to be someone who's like, I want the best players there regardless. It's just going to be interesting to see what happens because 
I know, like, New Zealand, and obviously New Zealand have been great, but uh, at the same time, like, I sort of, I look at Mark Maguire and I look at him with the South side and with the Tiger side, and realistically, with the Tiger side, he inherited a bit of a shit show after Ivan Cleary left, and then also with the Rabbitohs, like, obviously won a premiership, and then things sort of didn't really go too well after that uh, in terms of, it sort of fell off a little bit, but, you know, Club lane, you're able to buy players, you're able to identify and be like, I want this guy. Whereas state level, you kind of just given what you got. But at the same time, too, you got such a large talent pool, especially New South Wales, that you can go and you can go and pick apart players. You can be like, I like this, I like that about them. I'm bringing him into camp. I'm not bringing this guy into camp. You don't have to worry about salary caps, all that sort of stuff that he would have had to dealt with um, in the NRL. So. I think it's going to be a nice little experiment. It's always nice to see NRL coaches making a step to state of origin level. I, I really don't believe in this whole, like, we need to have this former origin great coaching. I know Queensland have done it, but I mean, Wayne Bennett's their best coach, and he's not a former origin great. He's just a great coach, you know what I mean? So that's kind of the blueprint. I mean, like, everything kind of screams that you don't need to be a former origin great, but that's what New South Wales sort of seemed to go with, at least in the past. Uh, but Brad Fittler's out, Laurie Daly's out. Ricky Stewart. Yeah, I, I had no sneaking suspicions that Ricky Stewart might have ended up as the coach. The other talks were, I think, Michael Ennis, John Cartwright. Realistically, I, when Brad Fittler was announced that he was going, and I, I did streams, people were like, what do you think of the New South Wales coaching situation? And I was like, I don't know. I really don't know. No one comes to mind. Initially, Desi, Des Hasler was, but then he signed the Titans pretty much straight away. So that part was kind of like, well, Who's left? Who's left at this point? And, uh, you know, Michael Maguire was someone who wasn't on the radar because I was just like, oh, New Zealand coach, probably not going to happen. So didn't even cross my mind. It was, once again, sort of going for, like, who's the pre who's the former origin greats that they're going to chuck in? So, yeah, it is nice to see. It's going to be interesting to see the coaching staff. And, oh, man, I just, it just made State of Origin all that more exciting going into next year, knowing that we have, like, an out-and-out good coach. Like, this isn't... This isn't like, oh, I'm not sure how he's going to be. Like, this is a guy who won a premiership in the last 10 years. So, um, I think we know we're going to get at least half decent results, and I'd like to think we're going to get a lot better bench rotations. But, I mean, are we going to get Rabideau's Michael Maguire? Are we going to get Tigers' Michael Maguire? Or are we going to get New Zealand' Michael Maguire? Or even Wigan' Michael Maguire? Which one are we going to get? Um, has he evolved with the game? I mean, Origin is definitely played different to NRL. So, I don't know. There's going to be lots of uh, lots of questions, and they're going to be posts throughout the year and all the way up until State of Origin, and you know during Origin, after Origin, it's always a topic to talk about. Um, so there's going to be lots of questions. Hopefully, we get some good answers. If you're a New South Wales fan like me, um, let me know in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on Michael Maguire signing on with the New South Wales Blues? No idea how long it's going to be. I don't even know if it's officially confirmed. I think it's the mole posting it. So. Grain of salt, but also, I mean, I went on his Wikipedia. It says he's, he says he's with the Blues, so it's got to be true right? if it's on Wikipedia. But, um, yeah, leave in the comment section below. What are your thoughts of Michael Maguire? Now, I'm going to wrap things up here. Keep this one nice and short, short and sweet, uh, and right to the point. So if you did happen to enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also, make sure to go ahead and follow me on social media. It's on the screen right now. You're seeing it. It's Mr. Luke on YT. Speaking of following me on other platforms and that sort of stuff, I have a second channel where I'm uploading FIFA. Been uploading it here, but I mean, I've been uploading Aston Villa career mode to that as well. That's where I'm predominantly going to be uploading. So you can keep the Rugby League stuff here. So go ahead. If you want to see AFC FIFA stuff from me, go and check it out. I'm seeing it on the screen right now. And also on the screen, you're going to be seeing the current members and super chatters. Thanks to everybody who has stuck by me, especially in the off season as well. For everybody who's renewed or become a member or left super chats, thank you very much. Thank you for supporting the channel and supporting me. And uh, look, that's where I'm going to wrap things up here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. There is.